Hey everybody, it's the Hobby Drifter again. It's the middle of October, it's 2020, and it's finally starting to feel like fall. I'm back from another book off trip. You want to see what I got? Boom. Double boom. Alright, these are the uh, Fraulein Revoltech versions of uh, Ray and Asuka from Evangelion. A couple of months ago I did a video showing off figures based on Yoshiyuki Sadamoto's Evangelion manga. These are based on the um, anime versions. And in my opinion, and also uh, empirical fact, these are the best action figures of Rei and Asuka that have ever and maybe will ever be released, especially based on the uh, original anime, which, you know, uh, we're not really getting a whole lot of new products for these days because it's all based on the new movies. Um, as I had these back when they were released in 2007, uh, it was my, my first full year in Japan, and got them at uh, Toys R Us when they were released uh, for about 2,500 yen each, and loved them. They were awesome. I was hoping for a Shinji to be released, and it never came out, and I know why, you know why, we all know why, but it, it still would have been nice to have all three pilots in there, you know, in their flight suits, and it, uh, it just never happens. I'm pretty sure that there's like a, a statue or something that's similar in, in size to this that I'm, I'm gonna just grab to finish up the set, but that's neither here or there. Anyway, uh, of all the stuff that I've bought and sold, I very rarely ever regretted any of it, um, except for these, uh, because they're very, very nice, and I just never saw them again. Like, anytime I'd go out, you know, shopping in the different hobby stores, uh, I would occasionally, very occasionally, see uh, one or the other, uh, but never both, and I never wanted just one, and so I just kind of put it off, put it off, put it off, put it off, and, um, you know, uh, th this week is kind of special. We got the new release date for the uh, fourth uh, Evangelion movie, and hey, what do you know? I'm in Book Off, and uh, they had uh, both figures in the set. Actually, they had all three figures in the set. There's a third one where it's uh, Ray all bandaged up. Uh, I hate that, and I never want to own one of those, because that's just weird. Um, so, I uh, these were originally released in 2007. This is the first one in the set, Ray, and the third one in the set, uh, Asuka. I forget who the second one in the set was. I don't think number two was Bandaged Asuka, but I, I might be wrong. Um, and yeah, this is the first time I've had these in my collection for about... Uh, Going on 13 years now, and I'm excited to get them open to take a look. But first, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Uh, these are in tremendous shape. Uh, they've even still got the uh, little obi attached, the little uh, paper thing that uh, comes on books and stuff like that. Um, very simple box, you know, just shows off the figure, doesn't even show off the accessories. Uh, there's some posing suggestions on the back, which is kind of cool. And... Uh, yeah, so this is the Revoltech Fraulein series. It's the uh, spinoff from the Revoltech line, and Revoltech uh, stands for, stood for, uh, Revolutionary Joint Technology, because no other figure set was uh, doing articulation like this. It was absolutely incredible for its time, and a lot of what you see now with uh, figure arts and, and mathex and those kinds of things are uh, directly inspired by the kinds of uh, decisions that were created here with uh, Revoltech, and in this case, uh, Revoltech Fraulein. And you'll take a look, the price was fantastic. It was uh, 1,137 yen, which is uh, 1,250 yen after tax, which netted me, what, 120 book-off points, I think, um, with my point card that I still don't know actually how to use. Um, yeah, and here's, here's old Asuka, one of the different uh, poses you can get out of, get out of her. Ah, looks like uh, number two in the series was uh, from uh, Fate Stay Night, uh, Tosaka Rin. She was, she was number two. And that's number four, which must mean that uh, bandaged Asuka must have been five. All right, so I'm... I'm excited to, to have these uh, in my collection again. Um, 
usually I would junk the boxes. That's what I did the first time. Uh, but these, these boxes are in such nice shape. I think I, I might just try to find space for them because they're just, they're so pretty. But, um, okay, that's enough gushing about these, these boxes. Uh, let's get them open and see what we got inside. Weird thing, these don't look like, I mean, that looks like it's been opened and then, and then resealed, which, you know, I'm totally fine with. I, I expected them to, to be used. Um, but it's, it's weird that the person who, who owned these originally, uh, apparently didn't even cut the original sticker. He or she just, you know, peeled it off and then put it back down to seal up the thing. So that's, that's kind of weird. But enough of that, let's get them open. You know, I may be wrong. Uh, these may have actually been factory sealed, um, which, I don't know, makes me feel kind of weird. I don't know that I would have uh, opened them if I had known they were still in in factory sealed shape. Uh, these, the, the inner boxes certainly don't look like they've been opened and then, then retaped. But, I mean, I guess it's it's too late to turn back now, so let's take a look at what we got here. All right, so here's here's Ray. Uh, as you can see, like, the the uh, paintwork is just perfect. You know, the, the inner palms are the correct color. It, it's not really showing up uh, here in this video, but the uh, it's not a flat white, as it looks like uh, in, in the pictures. It's kind of like a, a pearl color. Uh, the the eyes are not as as red uh, as in the series, which I would have liked them to be to be more red. Um, but what is very red is this beautiful uh, metallicized uh, spear or lance of Longinus, and you got a couple of different hands, you know, uh, closed hands, not fists, but closed hands, and then hands to uh, to hold the spear. And then back here, you do have uh, a stand. It includes its own, its own stand, which is very nice. Uh, not having to pay the extra five hundred. Yeah, like look at this. This tape does not look like it has ever been uh, removed. So yeah, I think I've, I might have opened up some, uh, someone's untouched collection. Which I don't know. Makes me feel weird. Uh, then there is Oscar, who. Similarly perfect, you know, the very nice detailing on the face. Uh, the uh, the red coloring on the, the suit here is just fantastic. Uh, it's the shrunken down version of uh, Dieva's cannon, as well as uh, extra hands, open hands to hold the blaster. Uh, you know, the pointing hands, you know, like the what are you stupid? And of course, uh, that creepy, creepy doll is also here. And similarly, it includes a stand, which obviously has, has not been opened. Yeah, I am extremely happy to add these once again to my collection. Um, it's, yeah, like I said, these were, like, really the only, uh, things that I ever sold, regretted selling, and then didn't, uh, didn't, uh, buy again. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm thrown by the, the, uh, mint and box thing. Uh, but, you know, hey, mint and box or not, you know, we gotta take a look at these things. So let's remove them from their plastic tombs and enjoy them for what they are. Action figures. Yeah. Uh, so here's Ray, Ray Ayanami, and she's got just tons of articulation that is not all readily obvious. You know, it's uh, detailed all the way through. Got the nice shaded effects on the hair here. Um, unlike the previous one, she doesn't have like fake heels that have her standing on the base. Just a really, really nice Ray figure. And she, she even stands. 
She stands totally fine, even without the, uh, you know, stand. Can I say for just a second how much I hated the uh, Revoltech uh, swappable hands? They're far too tight for, uh, for it to make any reasonable sense. Um, this is something that they started to get better with in, in recent years. But yeah, this is, this is unpleasant. All right, so there is Ray with her oversized slash way undersized uh, lance or spear of Longinus. Beautiful figure. Um, displays extremely well. This pose is a little bit awkward because I don't have the stand out, um, but with the stand you can get any kind of pose you want out of her. Um, this has been like a thing for Ray figures for, for 20 years now where they include a tiny little spear, uh, which is weird because, you know, in the series there was never a human-sized spear. But I'm glad they have it because uh, whenever I used to buy one of these things, I would immediately, you know, give it to the, the Ava figures, which are in similar scale, so it worked out uh, pretty nicely. Um, she comes with a couple of uh, other hands, and uh, if you can get past the fact that, you know, getting the, the hands switched is a gigantic pain in the ass... Uh, then this is just a completely wonderful figure. Uh, like I said, to, in my opinion, the, the best that has ever been made. And then we got uh, Asuka with her creepy little doll. Not much else to say about that, other than that the uh, metallic red color on her really, really pops. It gives like that uh, the impression of like the, the uh, texture and material of the... Uh, flight suit and doesn't look just like, you know, uh, your typical you know, dull plastic. And that's the same with, with Ray and Asuka. Uh, there's a huge, uh, uh, texture difference between like their, their hair and skin and the, uh, uh costume, the, the hair and skin look natural and the, uh, the, uh, suits look like, you know, they're made of a, you know, synthetic material and the texture on Asuka's doll also looks like it's made from like cloth rather than whatever space age material uh, the the plug suits are made from. So yeah, all in all, I am just incredibly happy to have this set in my collection again. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to display them uh, yet, but uh, I'm guessing that uh, it'll be like. You know, pilots displayed in one corner, and then uh, Ava's displayed in the other corner. But uh, we shall see. Anywho, uh, that is going to be all for this one. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been the Hobby Drifter. Take care, and happy hobbying.